Welcome to the CD on OPAM Basics and Application. The main objective of the CD is to teach the basics of OPAM without going into much of derivations and formulas, but sufficient enough for an engineer to use it in day-to-day -day designs. Through the CD, we will study few OPAMs and find out which OPAM is suited for a particular application. We will compare general purpose OPAMs with comparator OPAMs and find out the difference between them. To the end of the CD, I hope you guys have mastered the basics of analog engineering and move on using OPAMs in an effective way. This slide shows a high pass filter built using OPAM. For a high pass filter, the capacitor is connected in series at the input. The gain for a high pass filter is V out by V in that is equal to minus R1 divided by the series combination of Xc and R2. At very low frequencies, Xc tends to infinity, the gain becomes low and hence these signals are either attenuated or not passed. At very high frequencies, Xc tends to zero, so the gain becomes minus R1 divided by R2. Thus, this time the signals are amplified with the gain of R1 divided by R2. Since in this case the high frequencies are amplified. Thus it is called a high pass filter. The response of a high pass filter is also shown on the slide. From which it is very clear that the gain for low frequencies is low and then increases for high frequencies. FET input op-amps. TL081 is a wide bandwidth JFET op-amp that means having JFET in its input stage. The schematic for the same is shown on the slide. It has characteristic of internally trimmed offset voltage and is pin to pin compatible to 741 op-amp. The TL081 may be used in applications such as high speed integrators, fast D2A converters, sample and hold circuits and many other circuits requiring low input offset voltage, low input bias current, high input impedance, high slew rate and wide bandwidth. Also, the pinouts of TL082 and TL084 are shown on the slide. These have 2 and 4 op-amps respectively in a single package. The slide shows comparison between different op-amps. The first op-amp 741 has NPN input stage having a single op-amp in the package. 324 and 358 op-amps have PNP input stage. TL081 has JFED input stage. If the application requires a single op-amp then you can use a 741 op-amp. But if the application requires more than one op-amp then one can use 324 IC which has four op-amps inside a single pack or a 358 op-amp which has two op-amp in a single pack. If the application requires high input impedance then the FET input op-amps are required to be used. The advantage of JFET input op-amp compared to transistor input op-amps is that it will require very less input current and can maintain large gain bandwidth and a fast slew rate. 